Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the watch person skill and how much you can earn by killing level 200 combat uh, mobs, really, in the Chronopolis area. So we have the detective skill now to 203, we have the watch person skill to 204. So because of that, because I'm training through the Crime Den raids, I'm getting basically zero gold. I've also spent a ton of gold on upgrades for handcuffs and things like that, but I will say... You know, 687 silver being this high of level is very, very bad. So I want to talk about how much you can actually make through combat, actual combat, when you're killing level 200 mobs. So let's see what mobs we're going to be killing today is the shiny spiky balls. Um, and they're located here at the bottom by Smuggler's Cove. So let's continue on and showcase how much money we can make with the combat level 200 in just an hour. One thing I do want to mention before we get started, though, is if you take a look at my weapons, they are very, very bad. They're just greens, level 203 that I bought from the trader. If you guys aren't taking advantage, it does refresh. You should be definitely taking advantage of Bladedrix Armory, taking a look, see if you get anything good there and buying it when you do. Uh, another thing to quickly note is we are going to do this hour of grinding to kind of see how much we can make in an hour, but it's very volatile. Obviously, if you get a couple blues, you get a couple purples, um, things are going to change very quickly. But we're going to actually world hop here because this one's got a, quite a bit of people on it. And let's see here, join this server. Still a lot of people on this one. Maybe that was the same server we were on. It wasn't actually because it would have told it would have told me. So here we'll do this one, I guess. There's still three people over here, but that's all right. We're going to focus in on this area for an hour, give you guys the update on how much gold we made in that hour. And again, another thing I want to know is I'm not using any strength pots. So a lot of people are using strength pots when they're training certain melees, and it's obviously going to make the kills faster. However, it does cost gold. The whole concept of this video is to make as much gold as possible. So because of that, we're ignoring the strength pots. It may still be worth it in the end to use strength pots, but in this video, like I said, just want to make sure you guys know no strength pots. However, we do have a one hand that is going to be using the hammer mage uh, ability, which is really nice because if you look at these, they are actually going to be vulnerable to Tempest Day. So Tempest Day is what I'll be using against Tempest Day mobs. So definitely do that as much as you possibly can as well. And let's get started. Thankfully, I did find a little bit of an upgrade with the common throwing hammers that do Tempest Day damage about 70% of the time. It's actually going to be pretty nice of an upgrade here. However, I did get really unlucky with the rewards that I was getting as drops. So I only got grains throughout these 61 kills. Um, but you can see the kill total was actually 610 silver just by the silver drops alone. But with, like I said, the rewards that we got from drops was really, really bad. We got pearls and we got green armor and weapons, which again, not good. But these do sell for about 10 silver a piece. So in 61 kills total, we got a blue earnings around that 200 silver mark which is pretty decent still because this is going to total out to about 800 silver for the entire one hour run. And I will say, if you guys are interested, this might be one of the best ways to actually earn high tier rewards or get high tier earnings is from just basically leveling up one profession and maining and focusing in on that. It may not be your favorite way to play, but it is definitely the best way to earn high silver per hour or even gold for that matter. As I know at level 300, we're going to try this again. And I'm sure it'll be a gold at that time. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. Hopefully you guys like the shorter format this time around, and I'll see you all in the next one.